I finally caught up with myself. I'm allowed out back at the boot sales. But ever since I've done that, it has not stopped raining. It's not raining now. All day yesterday, pure rain. I was supposed to go to my midweek boot sale on a Wednesday, but the field is basically waterlogged. If you get any cars on there, it's just gonna chew it up. It's been like that for basically the whole of March. I think I've been done now for about a week and a half, maybe coming up to two weeks. I've been able to go out to the boot sales again. I haven't been to one yet, which is really frustrating, but always not lost. I have been sourcing new stock, a lot of new stock. I've been buying a hell of a lot on Vinted. So if you don't know what Vinted is, Vinted is a selling app, purely app based. I think you can do it on a website, but it's a lot harder. But it's basically for people to clear out their wardrobes, get a bit of income in. There's no selling fees. The only fee that there is, is if you're a buyer, you pay a buyer protection fee plus postage. It's really, really good for selling if you can get away with it. You didn't hear that from me, but really, really good for sourcing as well. Getting cheap, really good deals. Past two weekends, I've been going a bit vintage crazy. I spent quite a bit purely on vintage for stuff to buy, to bring in for me to then picture and sell on my own selling accounts on eBay and Depop mainly and a bit of Facebook. I thought in this video, I'd go through 15 to 20 unopened vintage parcels because I've still got quite a lot that I haven't even opened yet. But just to give you an idea of the sort of things I'm buying, how much I'm paying with the protection and the postage and then what I'm hoping to sell it for online. So what we're gonna need is a Stanley knife, ready to go. A pair of scissors, just in case we struggle to get in and a nice lot of vintage parcels. There we go, got 10 here ready to go. We'll go through this first 10, see how we get on. Hopefully they're in the condition they said they were, not too bad. Just a bit of cleaning, baby wiping. I did filter, very good, good and satisfactory because sometimes people put satisfactory, which should have like holes, tears and that. And it looked absolutely fine. So, fingers crossed, I haven't just mucked myself off. We're starting with this one, bin liner, of course it is. If you buy them vintage, most times it's gonna come in a bin liner or plastic bag of some sort. Oh, we've got double bin bag. Tease, the teases. And a bubble mailer. <laughs> I don't even know what this one is. What is, nope, don't recognize it still. Aha, this is a good one. If it's the brand I think it is, I just gotta do a bit more research. Looks like just a pair of suede leather brown boots, but we have Red Wings, which I'm pretty sure is an American brand, and it's a lot of money. If you look it up, they retail for a few hundred pounds, Red Wings. Got these dirt cheap, got these for a fiver, plus the buyer protection and the postage. So all in about £8.50 on these. Should be looking at at least 50 quid for these. Size 10, regular width. So yeah, awesome start. Again, just looking at the condition. Look hardly worn on the bottom there. I just gotta make sure Red Wings is the same as Red Wing. So a really good start in the condition it said it was. That literally can be put a shoe tree in, ready to picture, and then I can list it this afternoon. Next, a oh, regular mailer, very rare. There we go, standard. Look at this, Air Force Ones in white, low, are these my size? Size 10, these might be a keeper. I like wearing Air Force Ones, but wearing them to boot sales and that, they do wear down quicker than they should do, and these are fresh. They just need laces in. I've got plenty of spare ones, but again, these are only eight pounds, I'd sent an offer. I think they had them listed for 10, sent an offer of eight. So with postage and everything, know me about 11 pound 50, 12 pounds. If I did want to sell these back onto eBay, I could be asking 35, in fact, maybe more 45, 50 for these. They are really nice condition. Put the laces on, easy profit, but I think they're for the personal. Once my other ones wear out. Next, what have we got here? Second hand, looks like online order bag. So good bit of recycling going on. Eee, here we go. Pair of Nike Flyknit. Well, I did mention this, a uh, bit of wear to the toes, nothing dramatic, just um, where there should be a logo. I think it says free run or Nike run or Nike free, something like that. It's just worn out more on this side. But with the knits, obviously people's toes can burst right through and it can make holes in that, which is a nightmare. And as soon as it's got a hole, I'm just leaving it. The knitting looks very good to me on this one. It's just the wear to the outside. Bit of a chunk actually out of that one. But these are the Nike Fly Knit Chucker. So I think a bit more, yeah, a bit more of an ankle there. Not obviously ankle boot, but just slightly over the ankle instead of like down here, like a regular running boot. That is the Chucker style, I believe. But for a running shoe, the bottoms look pretty decent to me. Obviously the heels can wear out a lot. Bit of wear there. So overall, I think that these were in a satisfactory condition and they were a fiver. So I'm always gonna buy them. Looking on eBay, 
should be asking around the 40 pound mark but obviously there's a bit of a chunk taken out to there so that's going to affect it a bit but even bottom line like 30 quid obviously once the takeaway fee it's not making as much but um yeah i had to be quick i know flying it sell quickly and strongly so i got in there quick it was listed literally for a minute so i typed fast so profit there maybe not as much as originally thought because of the condition because i've had football boots in this and we've got what's this morrison's bag there we go that's pure vintage right there <laughs> love it just gotta obviously be careful they don't rip through your shoes if you are using a knife oh hello they are football boots Ugh. pair of adidas predators very very nice obviously being worn again unlike the last pair they had wear and tear and stuff this one isn't too bad a little bit of wear to the toe again nothing major at all obviously they are football boots and they're going to be sort of a bit more rough and ready but yeah they're nice nice big size size 12 yeah super big size going to be asking north of 50 60 pound for these big size predator always collectible like football boots are actually collectible now they might not necessarily be worn but uh, these are good enough to be worn eight pounds paid plus postage and everything so around 10 11 pound absolute bargain for these pair of preds in a good size as well halfway look at that one another different type of wrapping that is just pure tape this is gonna be a nightmare and i've got to be super careful obviously not to cut the actual shoe on the inside so not ideal packing really maybe if i go to the sole i can get in a bit easier don't have to be so careful got a pair of adidas not sure what pair until we see him oh here we go adidas zx 750s in good condition i believe these were and these are in i'd say very good condition let's look at the other one just in case make sure there's no chunks missing wear and tear these are looking sexy look at them really nice colorway sort of we've got a black slight turquoisey sage green yellow blue really nice again big size i think these are 10 or 11 again 10 and a half that fit me actually let's try them on oh yeah adidas do come up small which is something to be aware of again super cheap listed within a minute or two i've snapped them up again i don't even think i paid double figures again around five to seven pounds really happy with them again it's probably similar price 40 to 50 quid for these really good size really good condition yeah happy number six what we've we got here mailer a nice regular mailer i think the uh, knife's getting blunt i think i know what these are i've just felt them i oh, know they're not what i thought they are we have a pair of nikes this time these are really interesting these are like a pair of woven nikes i can't remember the actual name like model number of them but these are like the the gray they're all woven all around they look really cool actually these are i don't know what the condition was with me buying them but i'd say this is good probably not quite very good a bit of wear to the bottoms which is to be expected but the uppers no holes or rips or tears so overall happy with them again big size size 10 when i'm looking on vintage i'm going on size eight upwards so seven seven and a half all that i don't even tick that box i'm eight eight and a half nine nine and a half all the way as big as they get really so that's why they're always going to be a good size because i've chosen them to be a good size again these were dirt cheap these were four quid i believe uh with postage and that seven eight quid they owe me and i'll be listing these for around 35 to 38.99 plus postage again shoe trees picture them list them sell them what we got here so we've got bin bags this bin bag i oh, know an inside out poly mailer this time so again being reused for cycling in action okay pair of nikes again nice colorway gray white and yellow Are these air max ones i forget which air max that is i'm pretty sure that's air max one don't hold me to that though they're really nice they're nice and crispy size nine nowhere to the toe really just a couple of marks they'll be baby wiped off probably the best condition shoes probably so far maybe the first i oh know the nikes the air force ones they're probably the best probably second best here hardly have to do anything just a baby wipe round, which i'd do anyway <laughs> again that price range is around the same i set a sort of maximum price range i think i got to like 20 quid when i'm searching so i can offer like up down to 12 pound i think is the least you can offer so 15 the least you can offer is around nine eight pounds and stuff like that so but when they're good shoes in good condition you've got to be fast so sometimes it's worth paying what they're asking but i believe these were still there offered around seven eight pounds if they were listed for ten so again after all that it owes me about ten 
gonna be listed for around 38, 40, 45, pushing it up high. Um, yeah, really happy with them again. So far, so good. But now we're going on to a blue bag, a blue sort of fruit and veg type bag. Another pair of Nikes. There we go, Nike Air Max 90s now. I know this one. Navy blue, let's see, get the other one out, making sure we're all good. Uh, ah, these ones didn't come with the insoles. I think that was as described, but I can get insoles cheap and cheerful, like plain ones at home bargains. We get a pack of two or three for like 99p, or what was 99p, p? Or what was 99p before the whole inflation, the cost of living, probably two quid now, bloody hell. But yeah, Amex 90s in a size eight. So I'm the smallest size that I ticked in my filters. Bit of wear to the heel here, just general wear and tear. This will be a good condition. Uh, again, might not even need a baby wipe. Just a shame about that bit there. And oh, it's the same there, matching. Matching wear. Again, 35 quid plus postage. Number eight, we've got, is that Tesco? Got a Tesco bag this time with masking tape. I think vintage parcels are like uh, snowflakes. No one is the same or packed the same way. <laughs> oh, these were one of my favorites that I snapped. Oh, we got Nike again, but we got Nike. Do you know that? ACG, is it ACG? Yeah, all conditions gear. So this is Nike's range of like outdoor hiking wear. They command strong prices. I picked these up from vintage, obviously. Uh, literally as soon as they were listed, I believe. Eight pounds, I weren't mussing about with that. I paid the eight pounds plus the protection, plus the postage. So these owe me about 12, 13 pounds. And I think these are a nine and a half. These are a 10, oh no, I really like these. Bargain price, I can list these for probably at least 50, 60 quid. They're in a good size, they're in my size though, and I really like them. I'm gonna try them on. In fact, I've just seen the Nike React, Nike React and ACG. So, and a good size. I'm just checking the condition. No holes or tears. Uh, the only thing I've slightly noticed is, I don't know, like the sort of rubberized section. There's slight crack into the rubber, but nothing major at all. Cause, oh, I think I want to keep these. I need a good pair of boot sale shoes. Oh damn. Even though they're a size Nike 10, which I am, they're slightly snug. So I don't know if the laces they need undoing a bit. I'd say they're more of a nine and a half, slightly too snug for me, which is obviously good for Amy because I can't be keeping it. I need to be selling this stuff. This is probably one of my favorite pairs I've bought. There is a few gems that we haven't come across yet. Spoiler alert, I've got some Nike SB Dunks, proper ones as well. I don't know where they are, but I haven't unwrapped them yet. And I picked them up apparently, so it should be somewhere. Next one. And last one of the first 10. Here we go, thin liner thin bin liner. That's going to split and get your bin juice everywhere if you're taking that out. Right, we've got a pair of Nikes. Are these the Nike Dunks? I'll show you first before I see. Can you see? They're probably wrapped up, aren't they? Ah, oh, Jesus. Let me try and get them out. Drop them. What have we got here? Oh, hello. Yes, very nice. I believe this is one of, are these Dunks? I looked them up, these are Nike Dunks. These aren't SB though, the skateboard in line. These are just Dunks. So we've got some Nike Dunks, high Dunks as well. So very, very strong price is gonna be commanded here. I think I did pay up more for these. I think they had them listed for 20. I offered 15, they said 18. And then I paid that plus the postage and all that. So these are more 21 to 22 pounds, but Nike Dunks, high Dunks as well in a good size. What size did I say? Nine and a half might be able to push three figures, 80 to 100. But um, if there were Nike SB Dunks, then I would be asking three figures easily. I don't know what the difference is to be honest, but yeah, I'm going to say 80 to 100 in very nice condition and a very nice pickup. Nice way to finish the first 10. I said I'd treat you to 15, 20. That first 10 went pretty well. So let's get another 10 up here. Bosh, here we go. Second 10, I've got two more left. So there could be a bonus to it at the end, but we'll start with the top ones again. Looks like a poly mailer. Let's get in here, let's get cracking. Oh yes, another fabulous find. <laughs> got Nike again, got football, not football boots. We've got like AstroTurf for indoor trainers. But these are like Y2K era Nikes. And if you know your football, you know your football boots, you're gonna know these are becoming hard to come by. Don't know of the specific year, don't know if it will say. It's a bit worn out there. 
Size 11 now. Oh, trying to see the year. I can't quite see the, I think, going off the top of my mind, these could be around 2002-ish. Technically classed as vintage. While I was looking at that shoe, I did notice a lot degrade into the tongue, which is a real shame. I didn't see that bit. Uh, obviously a lot of creases in that. Uh, let's have a look, bit of wear to the outside. They're all in one piece. If we have older shoes and football boots, obviously the glue can start to degrade. So ideally, oh there you go. We can see that it's starting to come away from the main shoe. So these are probably gonna have to be, like in my description I say, so my description, I'll probably have to describe them as for collectors only or for display only. I they look a bit knackered now, uh, but these were four pound on vintage, so I was about six, seven pound. Um, yeah, I just have to describe them as obviously a rare collector's piece because this is like the early 2000 era. Nice big size though. If someone was to play in them, then the soles would probably fall off. Plus, like I said, the tongue material is degrading which is a real shame a bit sticky as well not the best but a rarer shoe but from six seven pounds i should still be making money it might take a bit longer to sell so yeah it's all right it has its good and its bad points but let's hopefully pick out a better pickup just being careful of the shoe inside oh hello one of my favorite shoes or favorite colorways anyway a black suede shoe with a white detail and then a gum sole very nice. These are Stefan Janoski Nikes. I've got a very similar trainer, but mine are New Balance by Jamie Foy, I think. And these are my size as well, size 10. Very nice condition, minimal wear. Nice bit of suede on them. Are they the original laces? Laces look slightly off color, like they're not original, like they've been replaced, but that's not really anything to worry about. A lovely shoe, lovely shoe. I paid seven, eight pounds, 10 pounds max. So with postage and everything, around 12, 13 pounds. I can list these 35 to 40, oh, but they're my size, they're my favorite color. I just love a gum sole. There's something about a gum sole that's just, I just love, really nice. Oh, we've gone back to the green grocer's uh, bag. Being careful. What this time? I'm not a pair of Nikes, this Air Force Ones. Oh, these look funky. A pair of Air Force Ones with like a quilted finish, burgundy quilted finish there, navy insides. I believe actually, these ring a bell. I think these were bought on Nike ID. And Nike ID, you could customize the colors and everything. I'm pretty sure it was this pair. They said they were on Nike ID. So there might not be another pair of Air Force Ones in this color and design. So if you can hear my neighbors, I cannot wait to move. Uh, in fact, hold the phone. This, I'm not happy with this tag. Apparently these were made in 2020 and that tag just looks a bit off. I might have my first pair of fakes here, which isn't good. Hmm. Have they said Nike ID to get around the fact they're fake and Nike don't do them? Yeah, there's a few alarm bells, like the holes on the top here, they're not actually holes, they're just indents. A couple of red flags. Yeah, just that tag does not look right for a pair of 2020s. Okay, yeah, might be the first pair, I'll put them to one side for now, but I'm not overly happy with them. If they were real, they look fine, <laughs> but Obviously, you can't be dealing with fakes, and I'm probably going to have to send them back. Even though with Vintage, if you do get a pair of fakes, and you can prove they're fake to Vintage, they tend to just refund you, and you can keep the shoe, but, you know, we'll see. What's the point of keeping the fake pair anyway? Can't even get to these. <gasps> They've used cardboard in this. So we've got bin liner and cardboard. Again, not all Vintage parcels are alike. Got a pair of UGG this time. These were described as UGG slippers, but they're not slippers, they're actually a boot. There you go. Harder bottoms there. Because they were described as slippers, they were just sitting there on vintage, waiting to be picked off for like four quid. I think, oh actually, they were listed at six. I offered four, and they accepted four. So again, with postage and everything, they were about six or seven. Uh, again, that size range that I picked. I can't see the size now of this specific one, but they're at least an eight, eight or nine in very nice condition, very good condition indeed. Again, one of them, they don't even need a wipe. Picture and list and sell straight away. Hopefully get 35 to 40. That, that's what we need, that's what we need. That's like the perfect combination. Just, they don't even need a baby wipe. Picture them, list them, sell them. And if it is like that very good condition, then we can take smaller margins as well, because it's gonna take less of my time. That's probably the most expensive thing, is my time. 
so the least time I'm spending on items, the better. I a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. There we go. This is like a, what do you call that? That's not a woven finish, that's a sort of netted finish. It feels like a basketball jersey all around. Bit of a gum sole, but white. I think these are a size eight from 2016 my marriage year. Yeah, just simple. I think these might be women's actually, even though they're in the men's category. Pretty sure the women's have like a deeper sole there, but being netted, I'm surprised there's no holes or anything, which there isn't. Might be a case of they can be pictured straight away. They've even been kind enough to put insole cardboard in there. So they don't even have to put my shoe trees in. Perfect. Is that the right box? Wrong box again, but a very nice pair of shoes. Next one, we're back to the bin liner and brown tape, my favorite. I'm surprised I haven't actually cut any shoes yet. Oh, hello, we're back at Nike again. Back with the football trainers. This is very much my era of playing football at high school. A pair of Nike Total 90s. Again, Y2K era, around 2005, six, I'm gonna say. Again, not football boot, but football trainer in a size eight, nice colorway, the blues. Double check the second one. Yeah, I'm happy with them. These will need a little bit of a baby wipe, not too much. A little bit of wear, but they're coming up to 20 years old anyway, about 18, 17 years old. So they have a bit of wear to them. Again, cheap and cheerful, around 10 pound again. And I should hopefully be able to ask 50-ish pounds, just because again, total 90 is collectible. Football boots are collectible. These could be worn actually. The soles look pretty good to them. The glue hasn't gone on them. Total 90 has been discontinued for a number of years now. So it's getting harder and harder to find. So yeah, very happy with them. Bin liner. Regular tape. Nike again. Vapor Max. Very nice pickup once I've checked them out. Did do a bit of research before I bought them. I think I made them an offer. Uh, while I was waiting for the offer to come in, I was just double checking that their codes matched up and they seem to check out, which is good. Making sure the bubbles are intact, which they are. This is like a nice mid gray, silver and orange colorway. Size UK eight, which is a good unisex size. Uh, yeah, really happy with these. I should be able to ask 60 very bottom end and then up to 80, 89, 99 maybe. Yeah, really good condition. Just checking for some wear. Bit of wear to the tongue. There's like a shiny foily material that's sort of worn away a little bit, which matches the other one. Yeah, it's a bit come away there. Nothing too disastrous because all the toes in that are fine. Soles are good. Another good pair. Three more in this pile. Still haven't come across the pair that I teased. I'm pretty sure I've picked them up anyway. All right, this one, it's got a purple mailing bag. We've got a pair of sliders, not Nike or Adidas or anything else like that. This time we have Vivian Westwood. Vivian Westwood, Vivian Westwood, Melissa sliders. These are a size 10, I believe. These were my size really heavy. Don't know if these come under men's or women's, like very large women's, but don't know why men couldn't wear them if they're not. Overall good condition, got a few marks now. Give them a baby wipe, getting pictured. And we're coming into spring, we should be. It stops bloody raining. But yeah, should be able to ask 40 to 50 on them. Vivian Westwood, obviously she's just passed away, RIP. So her stuff is quite popular at the moment, more than it usually is. They should be a strong, quick seller. Cardboard box with bonded tape. I told you. No vintage parcels alike, just like snowflakes. Ah, I've just seen, this is the pair. This is the pair. This should be a pair of Nike SB High Dunks, proper skateboarding line. And they were a collaboration. And I got them cheap. I got these for 15 pounds, plus all the postage and fees. I've got green laces on them. This is a three figure easy listing here and sale when it comes in. So as we got size eight, so unisex size, so men, women, and the others. <laughs> Don't offend anyone, George. Yeah, this is probably one of the pickups of the whole vintage splurge that I've been doing the past week or so. Very nice, there you go. Nike SB, skateboarding, high, highly, highly desirable, and a collaboration as well. I think this is like paparazzi or something. There's like flashes on the side. Something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, I just know this is probably one of the best pairs that I've got. They're gonna sell fast and they're gonna sell strong. And now my neighbors are knocking. I'm knocking so loud, it probably comes up 
on my microphone. Thank you very much. Number 20, I think I know what these are. And again, it's a three figure sale. This one, they were asking 20. Again, I offered, I think I offered 18 because I knew it was gonna be a three figure sale. So I didn't wanna be messing about too much. But yeah, they came back to me, accepted 18. So after postage and everything like that, they owe me about 22-ish quid. And we've got Adidas Superstar snowboarding boots. They seem to be very, very rare. When I was doing a bit of research, I bought them quickly, because obviously it's a bargain price. So you know, Adidas skateboarding, it's like the superstar type design on the bottoms. It's like yellowing to the toes, which I can hopefully sort out a bit, really, with the knocking. They don't come up too often. I should be able to ask near the 200 pound mark. Obviously you've got to sort out that bit of yellowing, which I can hopefully do a little bit. Uh, and again, the wear and tear is, yeah, just, what you expect really a few scuffs and that to the bottoms which is to be expected no rips or anything maybe the lace there you go they did mention the lace could do with changing but again that's not a disaster the pull strings are intact on both shoes there's the other one yeah just from 20 odd quid into hopefully around bottom bottom end i'm gonna say 120 at least which is already a massive markup but i should be aiming for 150 plus 150 to 180 i'm gonna say i need a bit of work but that is worth it. All right, so that was 20. That's what I said this video would do. I've got two left over. I'm enjoying myself. I wanna know what's in these because I can't bloody remember. So we got one and two. We'll quickly open these two bonus ones. Uh, what have we got here? I don't think I've had this brand yet in this video, but we've got Dr. Martins. A pair of Brogue Dr. Martins as well, which is very nice to have these look like a oh there you go 11 again cheap and cheerful i think these are like 15 quid plus everything so 18 ish i've paid and should be at least 50 quid more 60 to 80 especially in that condition that's a really nice condition let's check these loads of tread left not made in england these ones no not made in england these ones but a dr martin's brogue in a nice tan brown color is always going to sell strong and then last one and i'm all caught up yep my last vintage parcel of my splurge. I'm pretty sure I've got some more to pick up today. They just keep coming in like packages of three and four every day and I'm down the shop. I have no idea what this is. I didn't order any clothing. I've got a free Ben Sherman something however. Have I got a freebie? So I definitely didn't order that. I've been looking at the shoes. Right, we'll get rid of that. So is this just to protect them? That's weird. So anything wrong with that? I could list that if I've just got it for free. There you go. It's got a free Ben Sherman, like brown and orange polo. I'll put it in the backlog, you know. Can't just be chucking that away. It's free money. Last pair of shoes for this video, we have, oh, that's weird. Another pair of Dr. Martins. Dr. Martins saved until last. What a coincidence. And this is a vintage pair, if I can get in my bag. I've got three pairs of socks as well. I've got three pairs of socks. What is going on here? Look at that. They're new. Thank God for that. That was risky. Three Ben Sherman, three pair of socks. I'm taking them. Interesting choice of insole. Looks like something from NASA. Look at that. Foil, never heard or seen foil insoles. So I will get rid of them. <laughs> They're weird. But yeah, we've got a vintage pair of Dr. Martins and everywhere it's like this mauve purple color. Even the bottom, like the rubber soles, which is really cool. These are made in England. Uh, they're so vintage, they haven't got a name or anything. Just a few numbers, uh, size eight, made in England. There is wear to the sole, but because they're made in England and vintage, that's good enough for me to buy. Slight bit of cracking, which is to be expected, especially for that age. These are probably at least 1990s. Doing a bit of research, could not find this model at all, like in this color all the way around, which is really unique. Again, unisex size, size eight. So gonna to appeal to all markets, which is really cool. Made in England, should be looking at least 50 quid. Owes me all in around 15, 16 pounds if I bought them for 12. Yeah, that is all my vintage ones unpacked. I've just now got to picture, list them, and there is that one potential, I'm pretty sure they are fake. Got to sort that out, return them. But overall, out of 22 pairs, potentially one pair of fakes, uh, maybe four or five need a bit more doing to them, a bit more of a clean, like a deeper clean, insoles, laces, stuff like that. Then the other 15 or so, 
they looked ready to go. Bit of a baby wipe, plonk them on, get them on my sites and get them sold. Again, another string to my bow of getting items in. Obviously, boot sales charity shops are like the main focus, especially boot sales. I can't wait to get out on the field again. Even when they're off, I've got another source to get cool secondhand stuff from to flip, to sell online and keep this business going. Thanks so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you out in that boot sale field very soon.